my, 20f, boyfriend, 20m, sulks every time he didn't get sex with me. We have been together for almost a year and lately, we have been intimate with each other. But the thing is, I'm not ready for sex. He always asks me to do it with him. It puts a lot of pressure on me. Whenever I said no, he will get moody. I don't know what's wrong with him or maybe I'm the one wrong here. What should I do? I have tried talk to him but he will change the topic. In seeing this before the guy will usually get worse as time goes on and more emotionally manipulative. He will blame you for not giving him sex and blame the relationship problems on you. Realize this now and decide if you want to live this way. You already said no, right? He finds sexual intimacy important in a relationship, that's normal and healthy, by no means does that mean you have to provide. Him feeling negative is a fair reaction to being sexually rejected, it would take more information to determine if he is being purposely sulky to manipulate you or if he is just sexually frustrated. You should break it off. You two simply aren't sexually compatible especially after a year without sex despite his persistence. You're not ready, you're scared, maybe he just doesn't turn you on, all of these are good reasons not to have sex and that's all fine. But neither of your needs are being met, you who isn't ready and are being pressured and he whose needs aren't being met to the point he's making you uncomfortable and unhappy with yourself. There are other options, like a presumably one-sided open relationship or caving in and putting yourself in a potentially worse situation than before where you're 100% certain you don't want to fuck him at all and he's left further frustrated that what should have been a bonding experience only pushed you away further. But I'll be honest, matching sexual libidos in a relationship is essential and its absence ruins far more relationships than people want to admit, slash r slash dead bedrooms being a pretty good example. Trust me though, if you were ready to have sex with the guy you already would have. Maybe you won't have this issue in the next relationship, or maybe your next relationship will be with someone who matches you and has no issue or exploring and possibly resolving why you feel the way you do. Things could always get better, of course. But how long before he cheats, or breaks it off himself, or just becomes a sad shell of his former self deprived of a basic human connection every relationship needs in one shape or another? If you two aren't willing or capable to sit down and talk about what the issue is here, I can guarantee it's not gonna work out anyway. Since it's you writing the Reddit, I recommend you breaking it off. If it was him writing a Reddit about his GF not wanting to have sex with him after a year of dating, I would recommend him breaking it off. Basically, you two do not seem compatible. You can't really say that he doesn't respect your boundaries because he has respected them for a year. If he didn't, he would have broken up with you a long time ago. But importantly, you do not seem ready for that step and he definitely is. So, let him go find someone he's more compatible with and you find someone you're more compatible with. He's not an offer wanting to have sex with his GF of year and it's not necessarily manipulative for him to be upset that she continuously rejects him. If you two were in your 50s, I'd say maybe there is something to work out here. But in your early 20s, you both have so many options. Why try to overcome such a major divide? He can't be sad or feel rejected. That's a hard thing to try and hide. Leave this person. He requires sexual intimacy for reciprocation of love and you cannot provide that for him. You're with someone you don't match with. Fix it. Look, you guys aren't a match. This isn't emotional manipulation if his emotions are genuine. Emotional manipulation is using your emotions with purpose. Not expressing genuine emotion when something happens. Being disappointed your partner doesn't want to have sex with you and being upset because of it is a genuine emotion. He's allowed that, you as the person making the decision. The one who has agency either have to accept that, or state you don't want to be with someone who wants to have sex with you. When you don't want to have sex with them, that's the thing with this issue. If you don't want sex, then this will happen if your partner wants sex. 
at least after this length of time together and having already been intimate with each other. I'd also say, you need to ask yourself what you're waiting for and why you aren't ready. Sounds like neither of you are virgins based on your intimate comment. Do you just not want to have sex at all? You may be waiting for something that's not ever coming. Or maybe isn't going to come with this partner as you just aren't attracted to him. In any case, time to search yourself and learn yourself. Maybe you're not ready, but you're 20. If you ain't ready now, you may never be. But definitely a chance it's something a lot deeper than that. If you don't want to have sex, you have to been open about it and talk to him seriously. Sex is an important part of intimacy, relationship, so you and him have to figure out if that is a deal breaker. It's okay that you don't want to have sex but it's also okay that he does. So maybe both of you are not compatible. Hard question. Hard to give advice. I can understand that you get pressured by that but I can also understand that one year in. Relationship can be a really, really long time for him to wait. I think we need some more context. Have you told him that you want to have sex with him? Do you get hot and heavy and then stop? Not that stopping is wrong but might explain why he is moody. I guess I'm asking are you stringing him along or have you set clear boundaries so he knows that he shouldn't even try? You don't have to have sex with him but you can't go all Pikachu face that a 20 year old guy is grumpy about no sex after a year. Dump him. He doesn't respect your boundaries. You're not sexually compatible, and it, don't want it to turn into our dead bedrooms because Christ, it's the saddest sub I've ever seen. Sometimes people are looking for different things in a relationship. Intimacy is a big part of that and if you're not comfortable with it maybe you should see other people. Law you've been together for a year and not had a sex. Just do the man a favor and stop dragging him along and let him date someone with a compatible biological clock. Go date an asexual. Withholding intimacy from your partner and creating ultimatums for intimacy is abusive. If you're not interested in having sex with him, then just break up with him. Honestly you sound like an asshole and I hope he moves on. He hasn't forced himself on you. I'm surprised he's still around after a year. Feel bad for the dude. But it's your choice not to have sex so you should probably dump his ass. Maybe he might find some else that can make him feel good about himself. If I was him I'd be probably think I'm not worth it. No use dragging out it. Right. It's a sex craved world out there folks. Can we blame the guy for being upset his girlfriend of almost a year doesn't want to sleep with him? Especially at an age where his friends are likely out getting laid. Op you really got to ask yourself if this is the guy for you. And if it is, then what's holding you back? You're both 20. You can both be tried as adults so why don't you both start acting like it and talk about this? See what his frustrations are? Let him know why you are not ready. For all you know your BF is getting made fun of on the daily because he can't even get his GF to sleep with him. Don't take that as me saying you should be sleeping with him. But have the talk. You're both childish at this point. He deserves more than it, no. Imagine you decided to go to your favorite store. Looked at items you like in detail. Put effort. Found just the items you like. Got to the register with it. It is packed nicely and you are already anticipating it being yours and then when it's time to swipe the card, your BF says, I'm sorry, I'm not ready. He then turns around and leaves the store. You do not have any money on you and just have to leave. He apologizes about it, saying that it is just how he feels about it. Then this happens again and again. This is precisely what you are doing to him. You should stop leading the guy on and making him feel like he can get what he wants. So he can just leave and find somebody compatible. The guy is clearly innocent and too nice about it.
Most men would just leave you after the first time or two that happened. Especially not waiting a year. A week or two maybe. Y'all aren't compatible it seems. Both of you want different things break up with him, so see Han look for other poon. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.